Hi everyone, so let's talk about the metric block sum. So you're given an unbalanced metric and an integer k. So you have to return a metric, a new metric, be honest, based on the integer k. So you can actually grab the element based on i minus k to i plus k, j minus k to j plus k. So this is the sum of the range based on the k, right? So what what does that I mean? What uh what what does that mean, right? So I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, right? This is the original metric, and definitely we are not going to modify this metric because we will continue updating uh, our new metric based on this value, right? So I'm going to have a new metric, and definitely, right? This is going to be the final, like final block, final uh, metric you want to return. But you do need to have an, another metric which store the current sum, right? So if you want, if you want to store the store the current sum. At this cells, right? This is definitely going to be one, right? And I'm going to change another color. This is fine, right? But how how what happened for here? If you want to store the number from your top left to bottom right, so your top left is nothing. Your bottom right is here, right? So from from here to here. So this is a metric from here to here. So this is zero. This is zero, right? And this is one. This is, this is actually two. Actually, right? so this is three. In this case, right now, uh, again, uh, for this cell, right, you want to st store the value from top left to bottom right, right, and these are all zero, and these are one. This is three, and you plus three, which is six, right, and then you do the rest of it. This is going to be five, right, one plus four, right, so top left to bottom right, right, and this one top left to bottom right, right. So this is going to be what, uh, nine, ten, twelve, right, and then so on, right, definitely, right, and then this will be the final, I mean, the total sum of the metric that you will, uh, that you will store, right, and then when you want to return a metric based on the k, right, and then you will definitely what, uh, I'm going to just grab some example and you'll be able to understand quickly. So give this guy credit. So if you want to grab this one, and grab this little metric and then but the problem is we are using the sum we are using the sum metric to uh to to get a final solution for sure right so um i'm going to get what i'm going to get the total so if you want if, if you grab this cell right it's going to be the total sum and then you want to subtract this one right you want to subtract this one and definitely you want to subtract this one right because you want to get this red block right and then you subtract twice for this cell, right? You, you have to add one back, right? And this is how it is, right? Okay, and if you notice, this is definitely a typo. R1, C1, R2, C2 for sure. This is R. And I'm I'm, I'm going to talk about this when I call it, so don't look at this. But look at the diagram, if you know it. If you want to subtract the 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 cell from here and here, right? You you don't you don't want to go from R one C one right. You want to say R one C one minus one. This is C one minus one right, and this is R one minus one. R one minus one right. So this is what. Uh, this is pretty much the solution. All right. So let me stop coding. And back to here right. So okay. So if you if you store the value, I mean one more thing you you have to notice if you store the value, you can actually go on your current sum metric so this is three this is five right so three three plus five is what eight eight plus five is thirteen so this is supposed to be thirteen right but or but this should be twelve right this is because we add this we add this twice so we add this twice right one you add you add one twice so you can subtract by one which is twelve right so uh let me do uh one more thing uh one more example i mean one more cell for sure. So this is six. This is twelve. Six plus twelve is what? Eighteen. Eighteen minus three. Fifteen. Fifteen plus six, which is what? Twenty-one. Am I right? Twenty-one. Uh yes. I mean this should be correct. Twenty-one. And then this is the final solution for sure, right? And then, uh, and then and then you will do and then you will keep doing it. and then you will uh return the metric based on k, right? So uh for this one this is sum to d metric and then you have the uh, another metric I'm going to call resort metric 
you will get the value this uh, this value based on the sum matrix, right? So this so this is why this are not equal. This are not equal. The this are equal, right? And all right, too much talking. So here is it. So in n equal to meta length, n equal to meta length, and I need to create a sum matrix. It's gonna be sum equal to new beginnings m plus one and m plus one, right? And I need to traverse from uh for for two D map, right? Uh may I type for it? And I need to do the sum i plus one, j plus one, right? I'm starting from index one one. Starting from index one one for the sum. Starting next one one but i need to grab what i need to grab the top left to what uh, i mean sorry uh the, the, the little square metric based on top left to bottom right right so this is going to be what you add your top you add your left and then you subtract your top left right all right so you might forget what i mean right so imagine this is 2 d right and then you want to calculate this sum right you want to add the top you, you want to add the left and then this and then you add twice for you add twice for this one right this is because for this one the 2d sum this is the sum of this right and this one this one is sum of this right so you add twice for this cell right so you, you need to subtract for this one and then you and then you need to add the current map current map at this position right so it's going to be mat eh, mat ij plus sum and then this is going to be what i plus one j plus sum i j plus one right so imagine your i and j is starting zero zero right so this is one one zero zero one zero zero one subtract sum zero zero right and then you will get a sum of a metric and then you need to have a return value which is result new in and this is definitely going to be n by n for sure right and then you will return result right so you need traverse from zero to n from j to zero j less than n j plus one right all right now uh we need to get the r1 c1 r2 c2 right so r1 c1 is definitely going to be based on k right so if it reaches through the the constraint right so this is constraint so i want to grab the little uh valid uh block in the matrix so it's going to be r1 equal to what so the maximum uh is either zero or positive number right you can have a negative 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 value for the matrix right so this is going to be max up meta max is either zero or what or i minus k i minus k right same thing for c1 meta max zero j minus k right and then you have r2 equal to meta min and then this is going to be based on what the matrix is the size of n and size of m right but if you if you want to get a uh out of bound right i f plus k is out of bound and then you will get i minus one and this is i plus k and this is for c2 equal to meta n minus one and then j plus k right and then this is what this is the index based on zero zero right we started from zero zero and then you go through the n but we need to get the index based on the uh based on the sum right so i would just want to make sure these are the value based on to the sum right and then I will say result at ij. The result result at ij is definitely starting from zero zero, right? It's equal sum of uh, sum of r two c two, right? So if you want to get uh the cell for this one, right? So this is total sum, total sum, right? You need to subtract this one and this one, right? So you need to subtract subtract sum r two and then c one minus one so why is minus one c1 is this one right 
if you say R to C1, you are getting this value for the sum, right? And then you 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 take this entire sum, um, and then take the subtraction by this, right? But we want to get this one, not this one. So so it's going to be R two C one minus one, and for this one, this is going to be what R one minus one C two, right? So again, sum R one C two minus one, right? And then. If you notice, like this is like you add, I mean you subtract twice, uh, for this right. So you will add one back, right? And then you will plus sum. And then this is going to be R one minus one C one minus one. If you notice, C one right here, R one right here, and this is R one C one right. So if you want to add this back, it's R one minus one C one minus one. And then this is the solution. This is the solution. So let me run the code and then hopefully I don't make mistake. Okay, I do. All right, final mistake. So this is R two C minus one, right? So R two C minus one is right here, and this one is R one minus one C two. And I make a typo right here. Sorry about this. R one minus R one minus one C two, and then here we go. So let me run the code again. All right, I pass the test. All right, let's talk about time and space. This is going to be a space all of n times n, and this is going to be a time all of n times n. And n represent what? n represent the length of the mat, and n represent the uh, length of the mat zero dot length, right? So uh, this is going to be the solution. And sorry for the mistake. Like I just uh, I'm pro probably just ignore what happened when I type this, but I found out I found out the mistake, and I apologize. And I will see you next time. Bye.